Hello everyone, I'm Debbie Polachek. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm just going to show you a quick little um, technique I came up with and mask for your, from your stamp sets to color this um, beautiful magnolia. So anyway, yeah, I was trying to make it look a lot like the magnolias on our designer series paper. I think it's just beautiful the way they did it. So anyway, I hope you like this video, and if you'd give, give me a thumbs up, share, and uh, subscribe, push the little bell, and it will notify you whenever I put, download a new video. Um, also, if you need a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be glad to help you with anything that you might need. So that information is down below, along with all the supplies we'll be using today. Okay, so let's get started with this technique. I stamp with mine with black. But you could stamp it with a, like early espresso, and it would match this better. But I kind of want the black because I'm of what I'm going to be using it on. So anyway, I just cut a five by five piece of uh, cardstock here, and um, made myself a mask. And what I did was I went ahead and stamped it on this paper here, cut out the leaves. Is all I cut out was just the leaves and as you can see I uh, put marks all around here and then came back and put darker marks here because that's the ones I want to be cutting next so I'm gonna just kind of cut it away till I get this to look a lot like this okay and so what I'm gonna start first is the mossy meadow and Looks like they mostly just kind of did it in the center, the center and the, and they left a little bit of the white area kind of in there. So I'm going to try to do that same thing. And I am on Whisper White paper. Kind of lighten it up at the ends. See what that looks like. That was pretty easy, right? Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and got one. Uh, that was a uh, mossy meadow. This is gonna be petal pink, and I'm gonna cut away the ones that I've got that dark, uh, that dark mark by. That's the ones. It's this one and this one. The one that's furthest away. Others towards the back. Okay. I'm going to place that right over it. I'm going to grab the pink. Hold it down with my finger. Start on the paper and move out a bit. Because there's not a whole lot of the pink in there. It's just a little bit, really. And if I want a little bit more, I can just put it back and do it again. Okay. It's quite easy to control. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut those ones that I have the X on, which are all the outer outer leaves. See, I have X's on this, 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 and this. So I'm going to cut all those out. Okay. Now I'm going to lay this on top in its place. And I'm going to do the same thing like I did before. 
start on this one first. That looks like it looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out because it looks like it needs to go next because it's behind this leaf here. So let me go ahead and cut that one out. Yeah. Okay, that was right. I think. Me. Yeah, I think that's pretty close. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do this again. I'm not real sure if that's a leaf that's flipping or not, but if it is, I'm going to go ahead and leave that part of it as wide as I can. So I'm just going to go in the center of this one right there and see if that looks about right. I can go over a little bit more. There, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Now, the only thing that I could do to help mask it a little bit more is to cut these curls up off and put that curl just in that spot so I can be sure not to get any of that pink on top of that. Okay, go ahead and cut this curl off. That's really what makes the curl stand out, is the dark behind it, or underneath it. I'm not going to really re-ink it on this one. I'm going to just kind of let it go where I, what I have it at. I think that's good enough. Again, I'm just going to go with what I have. And then I think that's good enough. I'm not going to bother with the rest. But I do want to add that yellow inside. Now you see that I do have that covered. Now I don't know if you've seen my bleach test uh, check, uh, bleach tip. But I could go in there and just dab a little bleach on there and bleach it out to white again. But I think I'm going to try and just do it with yellow and see if that works. I'm going to use kind of a bright yellow. Uh, this is the mango. No, that's too bright. Let's try the daffodil. Yeah, I think the daffodil will be about right. If I wanted a truer color, though, I would need to erase that other first. But that looks like that works out real good just by using that. Okay, now I'm going to go with the, the suede. I'll put some suede on the stem here. A little light on the top. Maybe a little bit of the dark in the shadow, the bottom area of it. Maybe underneath the flower a little bit. And I think that'll do it. We'll cut that out and see what that looks like. Then all the way around. Put me some old washi tape around in about three spots and cut it out. And this would be on the See, it's a real good match. Now, of course, if you were putting this on something, you know, this would probably be a good accent color because it looks too much like it to put it on top of it. And even this is kind of busy. 
but it looks perfect on here. It's beautiful on there. It's beautiful on there. And I would imagine this is too busy too. I don't have all the colors anymore, but see, that's a little busy again. That looks good on there. So, anyway, I hope you give that a try. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye.